everyone, Amanda here, thanks for joining me. So I've got another tutorial for the Z Fold Folio journal that I've made. Um, so the part that we're doing in this tutorial is the centre section. So this section essentially is the part where all of the um, interactive elements are built onto. So it's a very, very basic page. You need to do one for each half of the journal, one for the front half and one for the back. Okay, now if you followed my tutorials and you've done the sellotape wrap method, then you need to glue this part down using a very strong tape, not wet glue, else it won't dry. Okay, and if you didn't do the sellotape wrap, then you can use glue. Now it's being cut so that it's shorter than the cover. So when you place it, I'm not going to be able to show you how I placed mine in because I lost that video, so I'm having to redo it, so mine's already done. Um, but when you're placing it onto the cover, okay, if you see here, it attaches to the spine part of each section and you need to centralise it top and bottom and centralise it side to side. There's a small gap either side, about a quarter of an inch and a small gap at the top so that the um, journal's got room to move and room for the parts to open and for you to put things in the pockets, okay? Now, what I will say is um, you would be best having a look in the description box below. Uh, I'll leave a link to the playlist. So all of the tutorials to create this are going to be on one playlist so that they're easy for you to find and follow along with and they're there for you to go back and you're not having to search through YouTube for my videos. Okay, and it'll be called the Z Fold Folio Journal <laughs> Tutorials or something like that. It'll be easy to see. And um, what you need to do is save that. Okay, make sure you're subscribed, obviously. Click the notification bell and then you'll always see my uploads. So once you've attached it, then that's when you want to put your eyelets in um, for the elastics, which then hold your journal signatures. Okay, so also you will have... Hopefully I downloaded the cutting guide. This is a free cutting guide with all of the measurements. I'm not giving you the measurements in the videos. Um, it takes too long. So you download it and we're, we're doing this section here. Middle page section. It's a very, very simple one. Don't forget you need one for the front part of the journal and one for the back. So you need to duplicate it. Okay, so you can download this. Again, everything's linked below. You can download this over on my ko if it prompts you for payment, just put not point not not, or you can leave a donation, but you don't have to. It's also available for free over on my Facebook group. Again, linked below. Enough waffle, let's get on. So you've got your two pieces, okay? And the one with the two score lines, you need to put tape or if you're gluing, then glue after you've folded and burnished. Put your tape on, fold and burnish your score lines. You need to mitre each end of the half inch score mark there then remove your tape it's so simple this it's ridiculous but if I don't show you you won't know how it's done now it doesn't matter which way around you do it okay it doesn't matter because it's going to be the same either way so we're going to attach the plain piece with no scoring onto this half inch score okay so just be very careful take your time if you're using glue You'll be fine because you've got wiggle room. If you're using tape, take your time. Just attach it. Well, it's just kissing the score line, just touching it. Don't want to be on it. Certainly don't want to be over it, but you don't also want it to be too far away. So get it as close as you can, as straight as you can. That is the where you, your interactive elements are now going to be built onto. So now you want to either glue or tape every single inch of that. Okay, if you're putting tape on, don't just put tape on each side, put tape down the middle as well. Full coverage of adhesive and then attach it to your journal and centralise it on your spine. So that's that section done. Okay, <laughs> and now the tutorials will be about building the interactive section. So keep watching, really, really easy to make. Hopefully you'll end up with a lovely, beautiful journal like this, um, which is winging its way to its new owner. Um, later on this afternoon and uh, yeah I've enjoyed making her so thanks for watching take care don't forget to look for the playlist below and I'll see you soon bye